Price update in 40 seconds, go! Number 1, GPU prices bagsak. Sa pitong NVIDIA models na sinusundan natin, anim dun bumaba yung presyo from last month. 2, CPU prices bagsak rin. We also track 9 CPUs which are a mix of AMD and Intel. Pito dun bumaba na rin ang presyo. 3, Super should be cheaper. May nakikita na rin tayong 4070 Super GPUs na mas mura kaysa sa older base 4070. This is the correct pricing. Same with the 4080 Super, mas mura dapat siya kaysa sa 4080. But watch out kasi yung ibang shops mas mahal pa rin yung mga bagong labas na Super. So prices are down, use some of those savings to activate your windows via our sponsor. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Alright, what's up internet? So, I moved the introduction to the analysis. So, we're changing up the format, parang teaser yung sa simula, and then the ad, and then here we are. For those who are new to this kind of episode, we do this once a month where we look at the prices of the four largest PC retailers in the country. Kino-combine natin yung data and nakikita natin yung mga averages. And since matagal na natin itong ginagawa, since 2022, may historical averages din. So nakikita natin umakit yung price ng isang component and then bumabagsak. Tapos yung maganda dito, even if we're not tracking the particular part, for example, gusto mo nung 4070Ti, we don't track that particular GPU, pero we track enough of the parts para makikita mo yung ballpark. So yung 4070Ti, faster than a 4070, slower than a 4080, at least medyo masisingit mo dun. What price pa talaga dapat, ballpark, yung 4070Ti? So all of this data is always available in the Google Sheet. Yung link na sa video description, nasa pinned comment din siya. So you don't need to wait for a new episode to come out. You can access it anytime and we update this once a month. And yes, for yung medyo mabilis yung mata, I did recycle the thumbnail from last episode. Kasi totoo pa rin, may isang 4090 na 50% more expensive compared to the other 4090 on the market. Alright, so you'll notice yung sheet natin may different tabs and ito yung parang cheat sheet natin. We start out first with the summary. So the 1650 went down slightly, 3050 went down not bad by around a thousand or so plus. Also a thousand for the 3060, notice is the 12 gigabyte version, not the 8 gigabyte. 4060 actually should be cheaper than the 3060 and you notice that's not the case. Mas mahal pa rin siya nung konti. The 4060 is faster, it should be cheaper, and it uses up less energy. Plus, you get some of the AI upscaling features na hindi applicable or hindi accessible through the 30 series. So, do watch out for that. And there's another thing about the 4070, 4080. Nabagit ko nga rin sa teaser. There are new versions of these cards, the 4070 and the 4080. These are the super versions. Kakalabas lang. The super versions are faster and they should be cheaper. But a lot of the shops still have them na mas mahal. And I think yun ang yari dyan. Nag-stock sila ng 4070, 4080. Ngayon na may bagong model na masabilis. Hindi pa rin nila nabenta. So ayaw nila ibagsak yung presyo kasi malulugi sila. Let's say they bought it at 40,000. Binibenta nila at 42. Kung bibili sila ng super, mas mura. They also have to sell the super at a cheaper rate. Di maiiwan sila doon, na stuck sila doon sa 40,000 na yun, just as an estimated price. So there are a lot of shops that are still selling the slower, the base models, base 4070, base 4080, at a more expensive price than the 4070 Super, 4080 Super. 
that's been the trend for the past two months or so. But it's nice to see that there are some shops na mas mura na yung mga supers. But it depends on the brand. Yung mga hindi pa ganun kasikat na brands like Palette, for example, maybe Colorful, you can see in some of the shops mas mura na yung super but mas mahal pa rin yung mga well-known brands for the base models. So for example, may mas mura na na 4070 Super na palit, but when you want to get, let's say, an Asus 4070, mas mahal pa rin yung 4070 na yun kaysa sa 4070 Super. So still not ideal. Dapat mas mura yung mga Super versions, but at least we're starting to see some progress na at least yung ibang brands in some shops, makikita mo na yun na mas mura na yung Super. The 4070 actually has gone up in price <laughs> for the past three months. So, noong January, average price was around 38,400. Umakit to 39,300. And then ngayon, umakit pa siya lalo 39,800. Which is crazy nga. I don't quite understand ba ito nangyayari since kakalabas na ng 4070 Super, which is faster and which should be cheaper. The 4080 has been going down significantly. So, noong December... 84,000 siya, ngayon 83 na lang. And then, sorry, start of the month, start of the year, 83,000 siya. Then naging 80,000, and then naging 72,000 na lang. The 4090 is also seeing the best price we've seen from it from the past four months. So in December, 126,000 siya, a maquette to 131. Actually, sobrang naka shortage, maybe around Feb or so ng 4090s. Kaya, the, the prices are quite high. Hirap na makahanap. Yung mga naiwan na lang na models sa 4090, yung mga sobrang mahal talaga. And now it's dropped down back to around 121,000. We do try to have some AMD models. NVIDIA is still the more popular one. But AMD is a good choice for select models. The 6600, sort of entry level, is at a good price, around 12,490. A lot better than, let's say, how it was noong December. No, makit siya ng mga 70,500. This is, this should be a price decrease, actually. So, let's fix that here. So, from 29,000, bumaba to 28,000 for the 7700 XT. And yung pinaka top of the line, the 7900 XTX, which again, is just comparable to the 4080. Yung pinaka top of the line ni AMD, walang wala pa yun sa pinaka top of the line ni NVIDIA, the 4090. It's at no price change at 67250 Also, very good news on the CPU front with price reductions basically across the board. The 7950X went down, 7800X3D went down. Although, I should note na mahirap na makahanap ng 7800X3D. We can still get it at Hardware Sugar, but as a custom order. I think only out of the four shops that we follow, only two had the 7800X3D. One of the best CPUs you can get for gaming because of the 3D architecture, the additional cache on the CPU, the way AMD designed those particular models. 7600X, very slight price difference. Uh, 600 bucks, not too bad. Major entry level, no 7000 series, AM5. 5600X, an old CPU, but still quite good. Good performance for its price. And that's even gotten better since bumagsak yung price niya. Bagsak is an overstatement. You know, it went down slightly. And the only price increase for the AMD CPUs is the 5600G at a very slight price increase lang naman. 3900K, price decrease but also very hard to find na CPU. Yung 4900K kasi wasn't that well reviewed because it is very difficult to cool properly. Ano hin mo yung possible speed performance increase kung di mo naman maabot because even with 360mm RAD AIOs, you know, the very heavy-duty coolers, ang hirap i-cool yung 4900K. The 3900K seems like a more rational option but it's getting harder to find. 14700K drop very slightly, like 30 pesos. <laughs> 13600K actually went up slightly, also a little hard to find. And the 12500 went down also very slightly. So across the board, you can see a lot of price decreases for the GPU and the CPU, regardless of which manufacturer, NVIDIA man, AMD man, Intel man, or AMD. On the average, a lot of the prices dropped this month. So that's the average summary of the four shops. Let's turn to the deep dive. So if you've watched Price Watch before, you know that we don't actually tell you what shops we follow because I don't want to get free publicity. So we hide them under aliases. So these are all names taken from science fiction. 
But the nice thing is na pareho lang naman yung alias nila. Yung wedge nung January, same wedge nung March. And if you go back all the way, like way, way back all the way, like all the way 2022, like time machine tayo, pare-pareho lang yan. Si itong wedge na to nung May 2023, that is still the same wedge now. So we've kept the names consistent, even if we don't tell you what those shops are. So I no price increases from Wedge actually for GPUs. Same with Roy. Um, they're all and actually the only they were all down. If there was a price difference, it was down except for the 4070 Dual, which was a slight increase from Joker at 43,700. Because last month, let me make sure you see it. Last month, because 41,515 sha. But now it is at 43,700. The only GPU among all of the ones we tracked na may slight price increase. And the price drops also included AMD GPUs. You can see that Roy and Joker, both shops, don't even carry any of the AMD GPUs we select. Mas sikat pa rin talaga yung NVIDIA sa atin, so shops tend to stock it more. But for those that did have stock, no price increases and there were several price decreases. The cheapest wash 4090 is at around 104,000. Tapos yung kay Joker, the cheapest 4090 is still the same one. Oh, sorry. Actually, it went down. Um, the cheapest one before from last month was at 200, some 220,000, which is insane. That was last month. So in kay Joker ngayon, mas mura na siya, 4090 streaks at 151,000. But that's still a 50% difference between the cheapest of uh, Wash, which has the cheapest 4090 that I was able to find. 104K lang yung sa kay Wash, and then mga plus 150K dito kay Joker. That's almost a 50% price difference. And for CPUs, di ko napansin kanina, but looking at the data now, there are there were no price increases. Lahat nung price changes pa baba. So I noted earlier na hirap na makahanap ng 7800X3D. Actually, only one store that we follow has it. So si Wedge wala, si Roy wala, si Joker wala, and only Wash has it at 23995. So that's why the here the Prices in green are the average prices. That's also what you see in the summary, which we talked er about earlier. Oh, we only have one sample for the 7800X3D. Great CPU at a good price now, actually. Pero mahirap na hanapin. Uh, Roy, in particular, <laughs> Roy struck out for all of our AMD CPUs and only had one of our Intel CPUs. Roy usually major hit up si Roy to stock. Um, but previous months he, they had more of what we were following. Ito talaga ngayon, wala talaga. So that's it in a nutshell, guys. We're ending the first quarter of the year. March is about to end. We're seeing a lot of nice price drops. Is now a good time to buy? If you're happy with the current generation, you don't feel the need to wait for the upcoming models coming out this year. These are pretty good prices. You know, it's very rare that we see price drops like this across the board over multiple items, over multiple manufacturers. So yeah, now is a pretty good time if you're happy with the current generation. And usually, naman, hindi ka talaga buhibili ng sobrang top of the line. Like, you can get like near the top of the line, like three-fourths. So you're talking about like a 7800X3D. Maybe a 4080 Super, 4070 Super, and that will last you three or four years. And that's personally how I like building my PC. I don't usually get pinaka top of the line, pero yung medyo like a tier below that. And you can coast along with that with very good performance for the next three or four years. I hope nakatulong to if you are thinking of buying PC parts. Again, we can't track all of the items on the market. But these are the ballparks. We even have like yung parang 12,500, two generations ago. The 6,600, medyo lumana. But we try, we try to have a good mix of old and new and of different brands para may general idea ka of the market. And you can roughly estimate the part that you want even if it's not here sa price watch list natin. This is updated once a month but it's available 24-7 every day for free. And you can always check it out in the links below. 
if you could do me a favor and if you have friends thinking of buying PC parts, doesn't need to be from Hardware Sugar, kahit saan, I think talaga makatulong to. It's a real pain in the ass, <laughs> to be honest, to update the prices once a month. You know, you go through four shops, iba-iba yung UI, i- manually ko hinahanap per model. So, there's a lot of effort that goes in the price watch. Hiling ko sana, yung gusto ko lang sana, nakatulong, makakatulong sa mga bibili ng PC parts to give them a general idea kung ano ba yung fair price for the item that they're looking for. Again, doesn't need to be from Hardware Sugar. These prices and this advice is open to anyone who wants to or is thinking of buying PC parts in the Philippines. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.